Alrighty, so just so much stuff going on. Um, uh, yesterday, I um, I thought I'm just gonna stop in at a few churches and and uh, you know let them know I'm around and drop out my resume, that type of thing. You know, something you do in sales. You know, I did that a lot a lot of years ago, and then just take notes on your stops and stuff like that. And so. Um, Anyway, so I stopped in at this uh, one church. It was, it was a cowboy church, and uh, you know I, I already put that on my YouTube. But um, and the guy asked me, "Hey, do you want to you know stick around and uh, get you something to eat, all that stuff?" I said, "Sure." And then uh, we uh, you know had a really nice service. It was the best um, AA meeting I've ever gone to. Um, not that I attend those on a regular basis. But, you know, that was what they had going on. And it was Jesus Christ based, which was beautiful because AA is a bunch of people that the only hope they have is like, oh, I'm, I'm stopping alcohol. And, um, you know, from the, the different meetings that people have invited me to to check it out and things like that, as opposed to um, or, you know, when they've got a... Um, you know, when they get an award and that type of thing, they've invited me to these things. And so it was just really, really a beautiful service. They sang and they talked about Jesus and, you know, that he was the, he was the God that they're talking about in, uh, in uh, AA. So it was, it was great. And then left there, uh, went into town and um, I don't know how it came up, but just, you know, I'm just, me being myself and this one um clerk she's about maybe 19 20 behind the behind the counter she's like well where are you from oh I, that's what i was doing i was asking for directions on something and she says where are you from and i said well i'm from los angeles she says los angeles what are you doing out here <laughs> and i said well i'm looking for a preacher job and he says Oh, our church needs a preacher. And so then it just, you know, one thing led to another. It was before nine. So I went ahead and called her cousin that um, uh, I, I guess is involved in that group. And he's a theater teacher, um, which is interesting because, you know, I've got a faith-based script and all that. So we'll see what happens, what God's going to do. Sent that information to him today. And then... Um, just on to the next adventure but it's been one thing after another when i said i've been looking for a preacher job you know back to um kennedy and uh the the lady that was cleaning rooms and she same thing what are you doing here and i was i'm looking for a preacher job she says oh my friend needs a preacher donna kennedy so then i went down there and talked to them and basically had a you know interview saturday sunday and so it's amazing what you know how god can something out of absolutely nothing that's what I'm learning it's like you don't have to you know all the resumes and all this the secular work and that God's going to find you something and whether it's continuing to do this thing in the veteran ministry in LA and building a church there or somewhere else but we're going to do what God wants to do either way and he's going to show uh, himself strong and provide financially so that uh, we can do just that and um because you have to be able to uh, have to have some form of um, work to be able to uh, get something going. And so that's that. Um, what else can I say about that? Um, oh, and then this morning, I just simply said hello to somebody. Like when I'm always preaching to you about, hey, say hello, say hi. And the guys say, like, yeah, my grandpa just died. And he, my grandpa took me in when, you know, my parents and all this other stuff and and uh, he had, I said, well, let's, let's focus on some fun, funny stories. And he told me about how his grandpa, he was little and he couldn't get the fish off the line. He brought it all the way to his grandpa and his grandpa, I guess, had some physical limitations and couldn't really walk down to the stream, took the fish off and then threw the fish off. But it didn't really quite get to the water. And, and it was kind of comical how the whole thing happened. And then, um, but, uh, but he said, you know, just a lot of, days I said do you realize how blessed you are to have a grandfather that is in play and part of that I mean my one grandfather I never knew I'll see him again and or I'll see him in heaven meet him for the first time and my other grandfather 
he was a good grandfather, but he never really took like a strong active interest in his grandkids. Um, I am a grandfather that wants to put to have a strong active influence in my in my grandkids' life, so it's uh, it's a it's a different swing on the pendulum there. So uh, anyway, uh, take this story and put it in your own life and realize that there's something that God is wanting you to do and to more than just go to work you know, home to work, home to work, all this stuff. God wants you to do something great for him. So get involved in doing something and, um, you know, given, you know, two, four hours a week, you know, maybe six hours a week, whatever you want to do. It's pretty easy, really, you know, getting involved and doing something for his kingdom in Jesus name. Amen.